The Simpsons Skateboarding. Yes, it's this game again. It's been over a year since my first video on it, and I'm still talking about it. There is, however, a catch here. This isn't the final version of the game. This is actually a prototype that was leaked on the Hidden Palace about a week ago. That means it has a lot more glitches and oddities that aren't present in the final version. Today, I'll be showing you how to get out of bounds in every single level of the Simpsons Skateboarding June 26, 2002 prototype. But first, in case if you want to do these tricks on your own, please remember that I upgraded my speed and jump abilities to the maximum possible number before doing these tricks. To start off, the first level has a very simple and easy trick to do. This prototype has a serious lack of invisible walls, so jumping fences is one of the easiest things to do in it, even accidentally. All you need to do is go up to this hill and jump at the very right time, and your character will soar right over the fence into the out of bounds area. Then you can explore all you want, see all the amazing trees and buildings of no collision, as well as the pink hills in the background. Make sure you don't get stuck, there's a certain place that makes it extremely hard to get out. Oh yeah, also, don't go too far out, you may enter the endless void of no skybox and be forced to see your character fall forever. This is one of the levels that doesn't have a death plane under the map. In the second level, things are already getting weird. There are trees floating above this map for some reason, but that's not what we're here for. We're here to get out of bounds. This trick is also very easy. All you have to do is go on this ramp and jump off, and Bart will strangely gravitate towards the hill past the fence. Now you can explore the hills of this level. It's very similar to Springfield Elementary's Out of Bounds, but this one has some differences such as the tunnels and billboards. This level also doesn't have pink hills, but I'm still going to fall and do the skybox thing again. Oh. This level has a death plane. In the third level, you spawn very close to where you need to go to get out of bounds. If you just go to the left of where you spawn, you'll find a bridge and at the end of the bridge, a massive fence and danger sign. No problem, however, because you can just grind the rail and your character will phase right through it. Then, in order to get fully out of bounds, you just need to time this jump here just right. Then, try not to fall off here. If you don't fall off and get onto the hills just right, you will see that they are not even textured. Traverse the hills more and you'll find this road. Once you find this road here, go up the hill and go over here to the pink hills and jump on it. This will lead you to the interiors that are actually located outside of the map. If you fall at a certain spot, you can actually fall into the interior. In the fourth level, you spawn exactly where you need to be to get out of bounds. All you need to do here is go down to the very first jump you see and jump to the right over the wall. Now you can touch all the buildings around the area that have no collision and if you go far enough, you'll be able to reach the hills in the background. Overall, this is probably one of the more boring out of bounds areas. There's not much to see other than buildings. Maybe it was to prepare us for the next level, which is the total opposite. In the fifth level, you will have to go near the gate, but to get there, take this rail here and your destination will be on the right when you reach the end. Turn towards the grass hill and go towards it. All you have to do here is keep jumping, and if you jump at the right angle, you will jump straight over the hill into the area. Now this out of bounds area is probably the most interesting area I've seen in an entire game. There seems to be a whole section of town modeled with collision. There's a gas station, plenty of fences, and a ton of roads leading to nowhere. There's also a strange billboard here for some reason. You can also go on this strange highway with cars that can actually run you over. This is definitely some of the craziest amount of detail I've seen in an out of bounds area. There may even be some areas that I glossed over, because it really is massive. In the 6th level, getting out of bounds is so easy, you'll most likely do it accidentally if you're not careful. There are no death planes outside the area like in the final game, so just jumping off of this ramp here can get you out of bounds. The out of bounds in this level includes more hills, but also more cars that can run you over. The most interesting part about this out of bounds is just being able to see how Krusty Loo Studios looks from here. Other than that, it's almost as boring as the construction site, perhaps even more. It's just hills and cars.
In the seventh level, getting out of bounds is also really easy to do. But you have to actually try, unlike Krusty Lou. Here, all you have to do is find this set of stairs and grind through the fence using the same trick used in Burns Mansion. The area in this map is considerably more interesting, with a whole other parking lot to explore, and also a whole block underneath the map so you can explore the entire area underground. While this out of bounds may seem like just more hills and cars, there are also parts of the mall that you can't see during normal gameplay. It's really fun to explore and see all the weird stuff popping into view as you go along. In the 8th level, your out of bounds strategy is to go behind you, as there are train tracks and a fence that is considerably low, blocking you from going outside. All you need to do is use the spot between the two tracks to jump over the fence. It's so easy, even a baby could do it. Now you can explore the hills of this level, but this one has a very, very strange twist to it. If you go this way, you will see a massive ball in the corner of the map. There's no reason for it to be here, and you're unable to touch it due to it being placed further away than you can reach. Other than that ball, this level mainly offers hills in terms of out of bounds sites. Before this one starts, I just want to show you something amazing that happened while recording this level. Wow. So, in the ninth level, if you just go forwards and turn right, you will see a ramp that you can use to get out of bounds. It's a bit of a tight jump, but if you do it right, you'll go over the fence. Now, while this is technically out of bounds, what we really want is to get outside of the other fence and touch the towers, right? Well, there is a way to do it, but it's the hardest out of bounds trick in the game. I found this out myself with lots of time and save states on my hands. At first, I thought it was impossible, but then I saw that there was a truck that drives around the very edge of the map. You can actually use this truck to your advantage if your timing is just right. First, I tried to use the back of the truck, but I was either too slow or couldn't jump high enough from it to reach the outside. Then, I realized I was going to have to use the front. Using save states, I tried many, many times to get out of bounds from the front of the truck. Most of the time, I either faced with the truck or got hit by it. But in a moment that seemed like just fantasy, I actually managed to jump off the truck into the area and... It had no collision. Well, at least I tried. In the 10th and final level, there are many hills to use and get out of bounds. I just moved over to the right where the skate park is and went past it towards these big hills over here. All I did was do a big leap over to the other side and boom. I was out of bounds. Here, you can see there are yet again more pink hills and pink trees. But, if you go near the dam, you can actually ride on top of the water. You can get a closer view of the hang gliding guy as well. This is the main area you want to go to if you go out of bounds in this level. The rest of it is just hills and it pales in comparison to being able to skate on water. Well that was fun. The Simpsons skateboarding was already kind of a broken game, so for the prototype to be leaked and obviously even glitchier, it was a treat to see all these tricks happen. If you liked this video, leave a like and maybe even subscribe, because I do a lot of Simpsons videos, mainly hit and run mods. If you'd like to see more glitch videos, just tell me and I'll see if I can make more. Anyways, this is Nightbane, see you later.